Well, it's been something that um, we've been thinking about for a long time. We've previously looked at um, the, the whole idea of having a, a camera fixed to an incubator so that if her mum was sick or wasn't able to come to the unit to see her baby, then she could at least see her baby moving around, as it were. Um, in our previous hospital in Fort Park, we didn't quite have the technology to, to allow us to do it. But in the last couple of years, we moved to a brand new unit that's got Wi-Fi. And what we're envisaging is that we'd be able to use a Wi-Fi system that we have in the hospital to allow much more free access for cameras and, and for tablets and new technologies to allow these mums to see their babies at times that ordinarily they wouldn't be able to do so, either because they're too ill or there's something else going on in the unit that prevents us from allowing the mum to come in. Well, the initial part of the project really goes back to when we first supported the idea. Um, we were approached by some parents who had previously had a baby and they donated some money with the idea of setting up a, a similar system in our old hospital, Fort Park Hospital. As I said, we never got off the ground with that one. However, once we got moved to the new hospital um, with the different technologies that we have here, we, we found that the opportunity arose when Sue Scotland approached us and basically on the back of Sue's involvement, we then quickly set up a sort of mini um, group looking at the idea, canvassing the idea from parents, what do they want out of the system, from staff themselves, again, what, what, what do they need? And we came up with the idea that we could have a, a system that would allow the mum who can't attend the unit, say for example, she's had a caesarean section or she's ill herself, um, so that they could, she could see the babies in, in the unit at a time that they, they wouldn't normally be able to. The main benefits, I think, are going to be that it will probably increase the bonding between the mum and the baby. Um, quite a lot of these mums will have delivered their baby by caesarean section, and if they either they or their baby are ill, then quite often we're not able to move the baby to be with mum or mum to be with the baby. The first few hours are, are quite important in terms of that bonding between mum and baby and I think this is one way in which we can actually improve that. On top of that we hope that the additional bonding will help such things such as increasing the breastfeeding and um, that the whole bonding between mum and baby is going to be beneficial for the amount of breast milk that they produce. So in turn hopefully we'll get healthier babies. I think it's going to roll out right across Scotland, this certainly can roll out right across Scotland, if not the rest of the UK as well. Um, our aim initially is to start off small. We are hoping to link up mums who are within the unit or within the hospital with their babies um, so that if they are on, say, the observation ward or intensive care or somewhere that they can't come to the baby, then we can at least get them to see their babies in real time. In the fullness of time, I would envisage that we would like to expand this beyond the boundaries of the hospital. So say, for example, um, you got a, an auntie in Australia or somewhere like that, then this technology would allow us to actually allow auntie in Australia to see the newest member of the family.